Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Techno Devs with Zarab. Today I am going to discuss about difference between AWS Glue and AWS EMR. In this video, we will discuss features deployment method, security, use case, pricing and performance differences. Before we going into today's video, make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to my channel. By doing so, you'll never miss a valuable video. Let's start video. What is AWS Glue? AWS Glue is a fully managed extract, transform, and load, ETL, service provided by Amazon Web Services, AWS. It helps you discover, catalog, and transform your data for analytics and data processing. Glue simplifies the process of preparing and loading data into data lakes, data warehouses, and other data storage systems. It automates much of the ETL process, allowing you to easily integrate and cleanse data from various sources, making it analysis ready. AWS Glue is a good choice for businesses that need to quickly and easily prepare data for analytics, without having to worry about managing infrastructure. What is Amazon EMR? AWS EMR, Elastic MapReduce, is a cloud-based big data processing service offered by Amazon Web Services. EMR allows you to process large amounts of data using popular open-source big data frameworks like Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark, and more. EMR clusters provide a scalable and distributed environment where you can perform tasks such as data processing, analytics, and machine learning on massive data sets. It simplifies the setup and management of big data infrastructure, making it easier to process and gain insights from large-scale data. AWS EMR is a good choice for businesses that need to process large amounts of data, or that need to use Hadoop or Spark for specific processing tasks. Now discuss about some unique features of each service. AWS Glue has a number of unique features that make it a good choice for businesses that need to quickly and easily prepare data for analytics. These features include Crawlers AWS Glue crawlers automatically discover and catalog data sources. This can save businesses a significant amount of time and effort. ETL Jobs AWS Glue can generate ETL scripts that can be run on demand or scheduled to run regularly. This makes it easy to automate the process of preparing data for analytics. Data Catalog AWS Glue's Data Catalog is a central repository for metadata about data sources. This can help businesses to understand the data they have and to make better decisions about how to use it. AWS EMR has a number of unique features that make it a good choice for businesses that need to process large amounts of data or that need to use Hadoop or Spark for specific processing tasks. These features include Cluster Management AWS EMR provides a managed service for managing Hadoop and Spark clusters. This can save businesses the time and effort of managing their own clusters. Security, AWS EMR provides a number of security features that can help businesses to protect their data. These features include encryption, access control, and auditing. Integration with other AWS services, AWS EMR can be integrated with other AWS services, such as Amazon S3, Amazon Redshift, and Amazon Athena. This can help businesses to build a more comprehensive data processing platform. Comparison between AWS Glue and EMR Comparison Let's start with Deployment Type Deployment Types AWS EMR provides two primary deployment options. Cluster Mode In this mode, you can create an EMR cluster with a specific number of instances to process your data. The cluster is provisioned and managed by EMR, and you have control over the instance types, number of instances, and software configurations. This deployment mode is suitable for batch processing, data analytics, and running distributed applications. Step execution mode, in this mode, you can submit individual steps to an existing EMR cluster for execution. Each step represents a specific task or action, such as running a script or submitting a job. This mode allows you to orchestrate and control the sequence of tasks within an EMR cluster. 
In simple word, AWS EMR offers deployment options in the form of cluster mode and step execution mode, giving you control over the cluster's resources and software configurations. AWS Glue, on the other hand, provides a serverless deployment model where the infrastructure is managed automatically, allowing you to focus on defining and configuring Glue resources for data processing tasks. Next point is Pricing The pricing for AWS Glue is based on the number of data processing units, DPUs, consumed, along with the number of development endpoints and crawlers used. DPUs are billed per second of compute time, and the costs can vary depending on the region and the scale of data processing. For example, let's consider a scenario where you run a glue job that consumes 10 DPUs and takes 5 minutes to complete. Assuming the DPU cost is 44 cents per DPU hour, the cost for running this glue job would be cost equals number of DPUs asterisk DPU cost asterisk job duration equals 10 DPUs asterisk 44 cents per DPU hour slash 60 minutes asterisk 5 minutes slash 60 minutes equals 37 cents. The pricing for AWS EMR is based on the instances used in the cluster, which includes the cost of EC2 instances, storage, and any additional services utilized, example Amazon S3, Amazon DynamoDB. EMR instances are billed per hour, and the costs depend on the instance type, number of instances, and the duration of cluster usage. For example, Let's consider a scenario where you run an EMR cluster with 5 M4. Large instances for 2 hours. Assuming the cost per M4. Large instance is 10 cents per hour, the cost for running this EMR cluster would be cost equals number of instances asterisk instance cost asterisk cluster duration equals 5 instances asterisk 10 cents per hour asterisk 2 hours equals $1. In general, AWS EMR can be more expensive compared to AWS Glue because EMR involves running a cluster of EC2 instances for data processing, which incurs costs for both instances and storage. AWS Glue, on the other hand, is based on DPUs, providing a more granular and flexible pricing model. Remember, these examples are just for illustration purposes, and actual costs can vary based on your specific usage. Use Case AWS Glue, it is a fully managed extract, transform, and load, ETL, service designed to prepare and transform large data sets for analytics. Glue provides an easy way to discover, catalog, and clean data, making it suitable for data integration, data warehousing, and data preparation tasks. Suppose you have multiple data sources like CSV files, databases, and log files that need to be integrated and transformed into a consistent format for analysis. You can use AWS Glue to discover and catalog the data sources, automate the extraction of data, perform transformations to clean and structure the data, and then load it into a data warehouse or a data lake. AWS EMR it is a managed big data processing service that uses Apache Hadoop and other big data frameworks to process and analyze vast amounts of data. EMR is ideal for running large-scale data processing tasks, such as batch processing, machine learning, data transformation, and real-time data streaming. Let's say you have a large data set of customer clickstream data and want to run advanced analytics on it such as identifying patterns, segmenting customers, and generating recommendations. In this case, you can use AWS EMR to process and analyze the data at scale. EMR allows you to leverage Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark, or other big data frameworks to distribute the processing across a cluster of EC2 instances. You can run complex analytics algorithms, perform machine learning tasks, and gain insights from the massive data set. I hope you understand use case. Now come to Flexibility and performance. AWS EMR can perform many of the tasks that AWS Glue can handle, the primary difference lies in the level of control and flexibility. EMR gives you more control over the configuration and optimization of the cluster and the choice of big data frameworks, 
allowing for customized performance tuning. On the other hand, Glue abstracts much of the underlying infrastructure, providing a more simplified and automated experience but with less fine-grained control over performance optimization. In summary, AWS Glue is optimized for efficient data integration and transformation, while AWS EMR is designed for scalable big data processing. Both services have different performance characteristics and cater to different use cases, with EMR offering more flexibility but requiring more manual configuration compared to the automated nature of Glue. Next point is Scalability AWS Glue provides automatic scalability by adjusting the number of data processing units DPUs, allocated to a job. For example, let's say you have a Glue ETL job that processes a large data set of customer orders. Initially, you allocate 5 DPUs to the job. As your data volume grows, you can easily increase the number of DPUs to, let's say, 20. AWS EMR provides scalability through cluster management. EMR allows you to dynamically scale the size of the cluster based on your processing requirements. You can add or remove instances to the cluster, adjust the instance types, and increase or decrease the number of compute nodes. For example, suppose you have an EMR cluster running Apache Spark to process a large data set for a machine learning task. Initially, you start with 10 M4 dots large instances. As the workload increases, you can scale up the cluster by adding 5 more instances, resulting in a total of 15 instances. In simple word, in both cases, the scalability of AWS Glue and AWS EMR allows you to handle larger workloads efficiently. AWS Glue achieves scalability by adjusting the number of DPUs allocated to a job, while AWS EMR achieves scalability by dynamically managing the size and configuration of the cluster. Let's discuss about security. First we talk about AWS Glue security. Data encryption AWS Glue supports encryption of data at rest using AWS Key Management Service KMS, to ensure the confidentiality of your data. IAM Integration Glue integrates with AWS Identity and Access Management IAM, allowing you to define fine-grained access controls and manage user permissions for Glue resources. VPC Support Glue allows you to run your ETL jobs and crawlers in a virtual private cloud VPC, providing network isolation and control over inbound and outbound traffic. Now come to AWS EMR. Security Groups, you can configure security groups in Glue to control inbound and outbound network traffic for Glue resources. AWS EMR Security. Data Encryption, EMR supports encryption of data at rest and in transit. You can encrypt data using AMRFS, EMR file system, encryption, S3 server-side encryption, and SSL-TLS for data in transit. IAM integration, EMR integrates with IAM for authentication and authorization. You can manage user access and permissions to EMR clusters and associated resources. VPC support, EMR allows you to launch clusters in a VPC, providing network isolation and control over communication with other resources in the VPC. Security Configurations, EMR provides security configurations, which are predefined settings for security controls such as encryption, IAM roles, and network access. These configurations help you apply best practices and streamline security setup. Next point is logging. AWS EMR and AWS Glue provide logging capabilities to monitor and troubleshoot your data processing workflows. EMR logs focus on application and system level details within the cluster, while Glue logs specifically capture job and crawler information. AWS Glue is that it automatically sends logs to CloudWatch. EMR on the other hand, sends logs to S3 by default although you can install the CloudWatch agent via EMR's bootstrap configuration. I hope you found this video informative and useful. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the content and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching my video.